Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. So the, the developers at Blackmagic Design has been added again and pushed out a massive update to DaVinci Resolve version 18.5. Please be aware it is a beta version so you have to make sure you back off your projects and your database before you start working on this. It's been solid so far but I've only been working on it for a couple of days so you really have to step ca with caution when you move forward with this. But they introduced a ton of new great features and tweaks to the UI, but one of the cool new features is the Relight OFX. It basically uses the neural engine to generate a surface map of your image so you can integrate and relight uh, the scene in a very natural and very uh, organic way. It looks really cool, but it might be a little tricky to figure out how you use the Relight OFX and especially if you want to use multiple instances of the Relight. So let's jump on over to DaVinci Resolve and I'll show you. Okay, so here we are in DaVinci Resolve 18.5 and the first thing you want to do is open your effects panel in the color tab and you wanna find your Resolve FX Refine section and find the Relight OFX and you drag that onto the first node. And uh, the first thing you need to do is output a surface map. So the surface map is like a, the neural engine uses the GPU only to create a 3D depth mask of the scene. And then it uses that to relight everything. So it looks organic, so it looks really nice and natural. But first you need to make sure you create an a uh, output surface map. So I'm gonna rename this output. And it's pretty processor intensive, but the good thing is you can cache that and use it for other uh, relight nodes that you're using further down the pipeline. But just be aware if you have an integrated GPU or a slow GPU, you might have some issues getting this to re, re uh, playback in real time, but you can right click and go to node cache and you can select on or auto and use one of these options to cache the node. So the first thing here is you wanna click on the output surface map like so. And look how cool this is. Now you got a 3D depth mask, everything visualized really nicely and you can kind of see why it uses so much processing power. So really, really cool. And you can let DaVinci cast that note. So for the actual relighting to take place, you need to go up back out to your library, drag a new relight OFX to your node tree. And in order to get the output masking uh, map from the other node here, we remove this one. So select the connector, delete it and connect to input number two. And to get the RGB signal, we just drag the RGB signal into input number one. So now we have a relight node here and we can make sure to go to the surface map up here and make sure you choose input number two and use that for the surface mapping. So that means we have all the surface mapping done in the first node and we can do all the relighting in the second node. So we have the option of choosing directional lighting, a point source or spotlight. Let's try the point source first. And if you don't see the on-screen OFX controls, go down here to the tool menu and make sure you have open FX overlay enabled. And if you don't want to see the mapping here, you can turn that on and off by the relighting map preview here. And then you can just look how smooth and natural that lighting looks. Look how cool that is. So if you take a look at the image, I have on the left hand side here a red light, light source and up here on the upper right hand, I have a blue light source. So let's say I wanna increase the, the colors of these two. So I'm gonna turn on the map preview again. And look how the, the mapping takes care of making sure you get more light on this side of the shoulder and 
nothing on this side. And if you don't want to use the on-screen controls, you can go over here and use the same controls X, Y, and Z axis. And you can use those for the positioning and strength. And let's just bring it down here. Okay, and let's say that's the position is fine. I'm going to turn the FX overlay off. And then I'm going to basically just light it and grade it like any other node now. So I'm going to the offset node here and I'm going to push in a lot of red. I'm going to overdo it just a little bit so it's easier to see. So like so. So if I turn it off and on, off and on, you can see the, the color seeping in here. And look how organic it is on the shoulder compared to this shoulder. So you can clearly see the light source going in this direction. You can see it on the table here compared to here. So really, really nice. And you can see it on the face, on either side of the face. So let's rename this red. And we got a red relighting going on here. But what do you do if you have another light source? So like, for instance, here I have this uh, upper right hand corner here where I want to introduce a blue lighting going this way. Well, you create another instance of the relighting OFX. So you go back up to the library, you drag in a new relighting OFX, and you make sure that gets the same RGB input, and you drag the surface mask to input number two, and then you make sure you have the, this node selected, and you use, use input number two as the surface mask uh, map, and then to combine these two, we're going to use a parallel mixer. So we're going to select this connector, delete it, right click, add a parallel mixer. And that's right there. And then we're just going to connect the RGB inputs from the two nodes and to the output. And now we have the exact same situation. We can move this. And let's try something else. Let's go and use the uh, spotlight mode on this one. And you can see we have the direction and the source and the spread. So let's just spread it out a little bit. Let it get it up in the corner like so. And again, you can tweak it from the inspector here on the side. And let's just... Let's bring it a little bit like so. There you go. I'm going to turn the the um, FX overlay off. I'm going to turn the mapping off like so. And then again, let's rename this. We call this blue. I'm going to go back in the offset. I'm going to dial in a lot of bluish teal here like so. And if I turn that off and on let's go full screen off on you can clearly see the blue light coming in from the right hand side you see how it hits the desk on the right hand side very cool eh? and then you can tweak it even further you can tweak the brightness you have options to tweak the brightness the reach the contrast the glossiness of the color and once you have the glossiness you can dial in the specularity and the shadow softness. You can change the beam angle and you have quite a bit of options to tweak the lighting. So there you have it. Double relighting effect on an image. Let me just turn everything on and off. You can see before and after, before and after. Looks very, very organic. It looks really, really cool. Uh, it can be super, super useful in a lot of situations. But please be aware, it's a studio version only. It's 18.5 beta. So if you're using the beta version, please make sure you back up your database and your projects before you try to mess around with a beta version for your own sake. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, please consider subscribing. Giving us a like means a lot. It helps us get our videos out there and I hope you like it and if you have any comments please leave a comment in the notes below and I'll be happy to answer everything you got to say. Happy grading!